right now, if you went online to try and buy an FX3, an A7S3, an FX6, a PS5, an M1 iPad, or a graphics card, you can't. Most of them are back-ordered. Some you'll be waiting a few weeks for, others is going to be months. But 18 months ago, this wasn't the case. You could go into a store, pick something up, order online, and it'd be delivered to you within a couple of days. And I, like a lot of other people, thought that this was because of a certain virus. And in short, it kind of is, but there's a lot of other things that have led to almost a perfect storm, which means there's now shortages of a lot of electronics and other things like that piece of wood, which is basically a giant piece of gold right now. Now, there actually was a three-day fire at a factory that produces for Canon, Sony, and Nikon, but that is a very small part of this, and that happened back in December of 2020. Now, I actually learned a good old plane never ceases to interrupt me when I'm filming. Um, so I actually learned a lot of what I'm talking about today from a Wendover Productions video that got posted a couple of weeks back. But I wanted to condense it into something that I could share with you because when I learned about this, I thought I knew the answer to it and it turns out I didn't. And it was really interesting. So it all started with people not being able to travel, go to shows and concerts and restaurants and spend their money. So what are they buying instead? Things, electronics additions to their house. So this meant that more things are having to be shipped from Asia where most things are manufactured and most of them go into two ports in the US on the west coast and with the huge increase in things being ordered it meant that the docks aren't able to handle the huge influx of things that are coming in. So the ships are having to wait longer out at sea before their stuff can be brought into the port. Now as a result of this there's not enough shipping containers and the cost of a shipping container has nearly doubled in the past year. Now I'm really condensing this, but there's so much stuff coming into the US that they don't have enough time to load the empty containers back onto the cargo ship so they can then go back to Asia and ship more stuff back here. On top of this, there's actually a shortage of US truck drivers, which means that even more shipping containers aren't getting back to their original origin. Let's go get coffee. I can see that the Sony autofocus right now is working, even when I'm wearing sunglasses. Bravo, Sony, FX3, bravo. Genius. Now, one big part that is required in computers, iPads, cameras, graphics cards, is computer chips. Now, with consumer demand for these products up, it means that the manufacturers need more computer chips. You know what else is needed to make computer chips? silicon. And right now, there's a certain vaccine that's being mass-produced at an insane level. And when they make that vaccine, it has to be transported and they put it in these little tiny glass vials. But they don't use regular glass. They use glass that's a little less breakable, a little less smashable. You know what goes into the manufacturing process to create that unbreakable glass? Silicon. So I think there's a little bit more of a demand for silicon right now for other things other than electronics. And I think you'll agree that making that is a bit more important than your PS5 or my FX6. Which got me thinking, you used to be able to go on, or a company would come out and say, hey, we've got a new camera coming out, it's available now and it'll ship next week. But now it's more along the lines of, hey, this camera's in production, we don't know when it's gonna come, probably sometime this year. And maybe it's because they just don't know when they're going to be able to mass produce it because they don't know when the parts are coming. I don't know. What do you think? I'm related to cameras, but somewhat relevant to this story. Everything is kind of connected. Vehicles now heavily rely on computer chips too. One of my mates here in Canada just traded in his three-year-old F-150 with miles on it and got a brand new F-150 for nearly the same as what he was paying before. And I always wondered, like, how is that possible? Well, it's starting to make sense now. In the States, there's a shortage of F-150s because there's a shortage of the chips that are required to make them. So I'm assuming a lot of people are buying used ones instead. Canada shipping the used ones down there, clearly making money with the exchange rate. How or why? Well, F-Series trucks have been the best-selling vehicle, that's right, vehicle, not truck, vehicle, for like years and years. It's the perfect storm. Everything is connected. So, from an outsider's point of view, how do we fix this? Well, it seems pretty straightforward to me. Stop buying shit, and then it will come quicker. That doesn't really make sense, does it? I have no idea. Is it just me, or is there something beautiful about blasting the AC 
but also having the window wide open and feeling that breeze in the car. What a waste of energy. I guess this whole video is a good test for the Rode Wireless Go 3 as well, how it handles different situations. That's quite windy with the window open right now. I'm doing 60 kilometers an hour. How's it handled this whole video? I quite like this holding it way of doing it. I might get that little mic thing. I'm like a full on reporter then. That is a great camera. Thank you. What makes it? Uh, it's a Sony camera. Sony? Yeah. That's what I have. Oh yeah, which one do you have? The Alpha 100. Okay, nice. Take care, thank you, see ya. Look at that, how many people into photography? Such a small world.